While I'm down under, I'd be remiss if I did not get myself some Hungry Jacks. So that's what I did. I'm pretty hungry and we got a pretty good amount of food. Let's see. One medium onion rings, one small chips, one angry whopper, one classic Jack's fried chicken sandwich. Grill Masters Cowboy Angus Burger Grilled Chicken Sandwich. 20 burger bites. And I also got uh, some spicy dipping sauce to go along with those. Came out to 53 USD. The classic bag within a bag. So right off the bat, 100% Aussie grilled beef. I'm really wondering if this is gonna be any different than Burger King back in America or in Korea. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, wow. Some of the onion rings are looking way different. All right, let's go down the line. Here's the chicken sandwich, the classic Jack. And apparently this has ghee on it. It had an option to remove the ghee, which is a uh, clarified butter originating in India, I believe. I thought that was pretty unique that they're not just using some kind of, you know, butter product. A uh, hef pretty hefty chicken sandwich there. And here's the other chicken sandwich, the grilled chicken sandwich. And I don't know if this is that unique, but it is unique to me because in Korea, you can't really find this at any chain. And sometimes when you want to eat a little bit healthier, um, you want to go for a grilled piece of chicken. Now, this is a new product. This is a 20 pack of burger bites. These were, it only came in a 20 pack. And did they forget my sauce once again? I think they done did it. Uh, I got this with spicy sauce, but uh, no spicy sauce to be seen. But these look very interesting. They're like, it looks like popcorn and chicken, but I think it's beef and cheese inside of these. Onion rings, looking real different from what I'm used to. Let me tell you what, man. These actually look like onion rings. It's been a long ass minute since I've been to Burger King in America, but I go there in Korea a decent amount and their onion rings there are completely bogus looking compared to these, I gotta say. Um, the fries actually, these are actually looking a little bit better than what I'm used to too. Obviously I gotta taste it first, but just by the field test, they felt pretty nice. Next up we have the Grill Masters Cowboy Angus Burger and it's kind of a mess. These burgers both are kind of, they didn't arrive in too great a shape, but uh, maybe one of the reasons is because it was slipping and sliding all around. This has three different sauces, barbecue sauce, mustard, and ranch which is kind of a crazy combo to me. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a double. I didn't even know I got the double, but uh, that's what that is looking like. Last but not least, I had to get some kind of Whopper, so I got the Angry Whopper. And I think it's just a regular Whopper, but it has some Angry Onions on there, which are these right here. And it also has jalapenos somewhere. At least it's supposed to. I don't really see any right now. Did they forget the jalapenos? I don't see any jalapenos on that. Well, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start off over here with the burgers. Start off with this angry Whopper. Decent size, but yeah, I'll tell you what, very messy, rough. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, let me take a couple more bites. This suffers from being a little bit, it's not too fresh. Let me just <laughs> say it like that. It's room temperature. I think it'd be a lot better if it was a little bit warmer, but I like the bread. That's weirdly one thing that's sticking out. I think it's better than the bread, the buns that they use at the Burger King in Korea. Uh, I don't, I think they forgot the, the jalapenos. I taste zero jalapeno on there, but, uh, and then those angry onions or whatever those are, are just kind of there, you know, not doing too much. If they were hot and fresh and crispy, that might add to it, but. It's kind of just eating like a Whopper, but I like Whoppers, so. Make some stuff right there. So far, would I say this is superior to uh, the Burger King that I know? No. Ah, 
Hold on a second. So this Grill Master's Cowboy Angus Burger. I was wondering why this looked for, so weird. I forgot. It supposedly has double bacon on it. Doing air quotes a lot already, which is not a good sign. But you have to when you see something like this. When you see a slab of this on your burger and they're calling this double bacon, you got to do the air quotes because that, what is that? Smells like bacon. Ever since that McDonald's video, I was wondering if they did bacon just differently, like kind of like they do it in the UK, floppy, more ham-like. Uh, but I was watching a Greg's Kitchen video and he did uh, the Aussie burger, Aussie Whopper review. But check out that guy, by the way, what a legend. But anyway, he noted that the bacon had a strange look to it as well. So maybe it's not an Australian thing. I don't want to get it twisted. Other than that, looking like a pretty decent burger going in. So I gotta say, the deliver on this came pretty quickly. It was out of that restaurant pretty quickly. But this is just suffering from the same things. I do, I, do they set these out? Do they just have these sitting or do they make them fresh? You know, if you know, let me know because it's a little bit dry and dense. I don't want to complain too much, but getting through those two patties is actually a little bit difficult. So far, the flavor's there, but the texture is not. That's what I gotta say. Try some fries. Okay. Hands down, way better. Way better than the fries at Burger King in Korea. Sorry for comparing everything to Korea. It might be different, but that's just, you know, it is what it is. The Burger King fries, and I, they're so bogus over there. And I always remember when I was a kid, I liked Burger King fries. I liked them a lot. And this is actually bringing me back. This is that flavor that I remember. And I absolutely like these a lot. Oh, there's a little bird. See that? Maybe my favorite thing so far. The most surprising for sure. I don't know if they're using chicken salt on these. Probably not, but... Anyway, look at these. They actually look battered. I'm not sure if they actually are, but the ones that I'm used to look like the ones that you might get, like, it's like the inside is a onion paste. It's not even a real onion. I think they did change them a while ago, but they don't have any semblance to these. These actually look like food. Oh yeah, wow. And it actually tastes like, like it too. Hmm. Looks like they're using actual onions. I don't expect that they're actually hand breading these at the at the store, but uh, at least they look the part. You know what I mean? They're crispy. I will say the onions that they're using are incredibly thin. Like you gotta have Marco Pierre white level chef skills to cut an onion that thin, literally. It's almost like just the skin. I'm real intrigued by these. I think I mentioned these are a new menu item, so not a classic staple. By the way, I should mention, I got a couple of things to mention. One, there weren't that many really unique, if any unique products, they can only find at a Hungry Jack's that you can't find at another Burger King, I don't think. For a while, they had an Aussie burger with, it was like a burger with a lot with beetroot on it. Um, and they also had a tropical Whopper, but those both disappeared on the menu today, right before I was gonna order this. So everything else looked pretty standard. These look a little bit different though. Also clear this up for me. They call these chips on the menu. And I think most places I've seen call french fries chips down here. That's fine. No problem with that. But I was at the Woolies the other day and I saw the aisle of like chips. I'm talking American chips, like snacks, like the sign in the aisle said chips. So I'm like, oh, they call these chips here, but they also call these chips. Got to differentiate. Anyway.
We just look at that. These would be actually pretty tasty if I had some freaking spicy sauce. Like that. These are, oh, you can see some cheese in there too. These taste like mini meatballs that are breaded and fried with cheese in them. I mean, it can be dangerous. They need sauce though, just. They forgot my, they did. Why? I don't think one restaurant so far has got my sauce order right, but whatever. Grilled chicken with tomato, uh, ranch, lettuce. Mm. Once again, dry. And yeah, I'm never getting my food that fast and fresh because I have to set everything up. I have to get it delivered, but I've done it enough times to know what the standard is. And this is a little bit below standard, I just gotta say. I don't know if, I don't know what the deal is with that. Because like I said, the delivery didn't take that long. And neither did setting it up, so. It could just be one of those days. That chicken turned into a little bit of a puck. By the way, yeah, is this a sandwich or a burger? If anyone out there calls this a burger, I might lose my mind. Like, I, I think I saw someone say, if you put anything be between burger buns, it's a burger. That's the weakest argument I've heard yet. But I digress. Last but not least, Classic Jacks. Let's see if I can detect that ghee in there. I'm assuming they use it to uh, butter the buns. Just an assumption though. I guess one thing about ghee or clarified butter is it has a higher smoking point so you can cook things at a higher heat. Maybe they want to toast these buns as fast as possible just so they can get them out and let them sit on the rack for 20 minutes. Rack. It's pretty good though. Weirdly a little bit more fresh than these other burgers and sandwiches. So I kind of think that like these, a little, some of these were sitting and some weren't. I don't know, that's just, just a theory. I remember, I have a vivid memory burned into my head when I was young and I was, uh, I was probably under 10 years old. I was at an airport and it was like, we went to this Burger King and I got a, like a cheeseburger. No one else there. I was waiting at the counter, excited little kid. I don't get to eat fast food that often. Dude reaches somewhere, grabs a cheeseburger, throws it right into a microwave, just a regular ass microwave and cooks that burger in the microwave, heats it up at least. And that's when I kind of stopped believing in Santa Claus, you know what I mean? But, um, it's a pretty solid, pretty solid chicken sandwich. Mm, pretty decent stuff right there. I think I'm going to finish off maybe one of these beef burgers, one of these chicken sandwiches, because I got two boxes for easy storage. If you're wondering, I always, I always save the food. I never throw food away. If unless I have to. Hmm. It's interesting. This almost tastes better to me now. With the expectations of it being a little bit cold. You gotta have the right expectations going into things, I feel like. By the way, another thing I should point out, just so I don't get called out. I didn't just pluck this from the bathroom, all right? I got a fresh pack. Right out the plastic wrap, took it out, sit on this table.
because I feel like it makes less noise. Like, let me, hey, let me do it just do a quick test. This is a toilet paper, paper towel. I think it's a Korean thing. I don't know. Where you're from, do you use toilet paper as just like tissues? I think it's a Korean thing, maybe. What should I finish? I'll finish this. Stay a little bit healthier for right now. Mm. All right, y'all. Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks. Is it superior to Burger King? All I can say is it's better than the Burger King where I'm from in Korea, so yes. Even though this was cold, they still get more options. The fries are better, the onion rings are better, the bacon's bogus, but they got grilled chicken sandwiches. I like it. So I'm about to skate out of here for now. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on this video. Peace. Also, they have the like triple whopper, you know, double whopper on deck. The one in Korea, like it's like a limited time only. So like right now, if I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't get myself a double whopper, which is bogus. Thank <laughs> you.